Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be an Aquarius weekly money and career reading from October 17th to the 23rd, 2022. Aquarius, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. <coughs> King of Wands, you're being bold, you're being assertive, uh -huh. leaving something behind, you're being, you're building something, you're, yes, okay, so you're starting, you're working on something, you are expert at something or you're gaining more skills at something. So you might be taking classes. Um, you have a mentorship or you're mentoring someone. You're getting better and better and better at what you do. Um, but you're letting go of something. You are you're tracing your own path with this hermit. And I feel like it's forcing you to let go let go the wounds let go the emotions that have been holding you back or blocking you or triggering you know those past wounds and you're you're starting something you're building something you're very ambitious in what you want to do yes and you have the emperor and the four of wands wow so you're celebrating you're in power you're celebrating hold on let me just bring this up a little bit there we go sorry about that um sorry for the light this is an evening reading uh sometimes i read in the morning sometimes i read in the evening depending on my my schedule so sometimes it's a little darker apologies for that so look at here you have these two beautiful major arcana showing your power the power for you to pave your way the power for you to build your own the power for you to work and 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 create your own space create your own project your own job your own business your you know take it as it resonates um, but you have to let go something that, you know, these emotions that make you go round and round and round in your mind, right? You're celebrating this power. You're celebrating being your own boss, being your own, yes, being your own power. And I think you're comfortable, you're happy, you uh, where you are, but it's a struggle of every day to let go those emotions and to find the perfect energy to find the balance in this new, new path. It feels new. Let's see. Yes, there you go. End of cycle, beginning of another. You're starting something completely new and you're ending, you're ending a certain way of feeling. I don't know why I sense that. You're ending a certain way of connecting with people, connecting with your family, connecting with friends, right? This is a different, this is a different energy you're pushing forward. Focused, focused on what is important, focused on your trajectory, your sharp, the world, you have the world and the Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor. It's very powerful, and but it's, you know, the wheel is now moving forward. And you're moving forward in your karma, your gig, your thing, not someone else's, not something that has been imposed or you felt was imposed or you felt you had to follow that path or you, you know, that kind of thing. It is your path. This is where you want to go. And you work very hard at this. So it's like you've worked very hard at being your own boss. 
and the world is coming full circle, right? You're entering a new path. You're entering your new world, your new power, your new way of seeing things. It's, it's a new life for you, Aquarius. You're growing. You're growing with a sense of achievement. You're growing into a new experiences, new, um, new knowledge, new skills. So you might be changing careers completely, but it has taken time and it's still taking time for you to adapt to this new career, to adapt to this new, this choice you made to be independent, to be almost like a, um, you know, a freelance or something, or just starting your own company or starting your own project. Um, and being your own boss, this emperor is very powerful. You can also have an Aries around you, um, someone um, powerful around you within your family. Uh, but I feel like it's really you coming into your own. And coming into your own with um, sort of something, you know, coming full circle that sense of closure and accomplishment on something you really wanted. And, and you're, you're at the right place. So honor your achievements, honor your hard work, and understand that all these challenges along the way have made who you are, have made you so strong because it hasn't been an easy path and it's you have decided to let go a lot of emotions a lot of um situations to find your balance sharp tongue sharp conversations but um it's about letting go of those harmful illusions about yourself and what you uh, you know what you can or cannot do or what you have or have not to prove to people to situations right and um so acknowledge your place within the world this is important you're in the right place you're doing the right thing you are bold and creative whatever it is you're making whatever it is you're starting because this is a new cycle and it's a successful cycle and it's you realizing the ebbs and flows in life, right? There's good karma coming in, there's good energy coming in, but you have to close those wounds, clo heal those wounds. Yes, new opportunity coming in because you're, you're seeing life. <laughs> this Knight of Wands always makes me laugh. I don't know why. It can be an Aries Leo Sag in your in your environment, uh, or you have Aries Leo Sag in your, um, in your chart. I don't know, but you have one, two, three, four, five major arcana, um, telling you that, you know, you're, you're, you're ending something and you're paving the way to your success and it's different. So it's probably a different career or completely different job or completely different project with this hangman you're seeing a completely different perspective and you're understanding that this is going to be different and it's probably different people and and that's why you are gaining more skills gaining more knowledge working on this perfecting this whatever it is to make it happen because You've never done this before, but you thought really hard and deep to figure this out, to figure what this next career step was going to be. It's very important for you. Yes, battles. The battles. They continue, Aquarius. If you ch check out um, past weekly readings or monthly readings, it's you battling for your career path a very important career path. That's almost your soul path, right? Where you belong, what you've been wanting to do for a long time. Aligning, we don't have the lovers, but we could. Aligning with your soul. This is your soul gig, your soul job. And this is what you want to do. And you're confronted to all kinds of situations around you that everybody confronts when they change careers or change jobs, or want to start a business, or want to start a project, right? It's gaining the skills we don't have, for one, 
right? Sometimes we have to go back to school to get a diploma and it's hard work and we're juggling one, you know, on one side a job to pay the bills because we still have to pay the bills. And the other side, we're gaining skills and knowledge to open up that business or to start that completely different career. And it's, it's hard. It's hard. But my, is it successful, Aquarius? You, you know, you've, you're gaining, you're wiser, you're much more experienced as you let go, right? You, you're, you're moving on. You're moving on. Those emotions that keep blocking you, that are so difficult to breathe out, right? Are, are you're, you're, you understand. You understand that it's important to move on and it's important. You have the wheel of fortune. It's just going to get better and better because you're seeing the hangman. You're seeing a different, different perspective. Now that you're in your own, now that it's your thing, you, that, that job you really wanted or that, that business you really wanted to start, whatever it is, right? Every, for everyone, it's going to be different. You are so positive and energetic and happy to be where you belong. You feel a sense of belonging. You feel a sense of purpose. This is where you should be. We're going to pull more cards. Maybe we'll get more information on what you're doing. Um, but it's a battle of every day. And it's a battle of every day from people that either don't understand or 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 just BS you along the way. Because for me, the Knight of Wands is the BSer. The person that doesn't understand anything or or if they do they don't take the time to understand they don't take the time to listen they are uh, you know very lightweight in the conversation and really are not interested and so they make decisions without really thinking it out and you know they're a good person to have to party with and you know chill with or whatever but they're certainly not a person to be um, uh, to take advice from business advice or, you know, something like that. And I think that's conflictual day to day conflict every day. It, you know, it, it can be a family member, a friend, a coworker, uh, someone that is constantly there to tell you like it is while they don't really know much about it. That's the way I feel, but this, but you're very positive and you, and, and this positive energy is just going to follow you forward and it's just going to get better and better and better. And that is why, because you're on the right path, because this is what you have really, really wanted to do, um, this, this is bringing in these beautiful energies of synchronicities and, you know, just meeting the right people in the right place and sort of. Uh, energy is opening up and things are just going to get smoother and smoother and smoother. That good luck coming in and that good energy coming in. But that is also because you have realized that your positivity brings back the positive karma, right? And and that is your energy is what comes around and, and pushes you, follows you forward. Your optimism, right? Yes, strength. Can be a Leo around you, but strength. Yeah, you have the willpower. You have the mindset. You have you are in control. Wow, these these cards are flying. Give me one moment to grab this card that fell. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Yes, you have the power to sort this out. You have the power to figure it out. Prioritize. I feel like you have a lot of decisions, a lot on your plate to organize and to understand. And yeah, it really feels like a career change. And in a career change, in a transition, and I think I've said that in every single reading, yes, you're making things official. There you go. There's the higher fit. There's the higher learning, the higher awareness, the higher understanding, and the official the officiality of the own the whole thing 
uh, signing contracts for a new business, signing contracts for a new job, opening up your shop, opening up, you know, opening up your business. It, it's you're signing papers to make it happen. You're structuring, but you're also so much more aware of what your job is and you know, how you are going to push it forward, you are making it happen. You are making it happen. Wow. It's, it's a very, um, you trust yourself. You are empowered. You are, you are confident. But at the same time, it's hard, right? It's hard. And um, these readings are never sugar-coated, right? I, I do uh, try to motivate and be positive and, and, and understand that there, you know, there are solutions that we just have to believe in ourselves and power through and get things happening, right? But um, I see in all these readings, and look, you have the chariot, all these major arcana, success, 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 understanding, awareness, um, uh, that, that power of knowledge, the power of knowledge. I think, okay, I think that this career, and it really feels like a career change, but it doesn't have to be a career change. It could be just that job that you really wanted that business you really want to open or that, you know, you want to become freelance and really be your own boss. And, but it ha it requires a lot. And this shift in career requires so much energy, so much knowledge that you have to go get, right? So that's a whole nother ball game to go get a diploma maybe, or, you know, evening classes or online classes or having a mentor, you know, helping you. And then you have to find a structure and then you have to find finances and then maybe you have to hire people, whatever it is, it's a lot on your plate. But this is where you belong. This is your success. You're ready for this. You're ready for this. So just let go of those stigmas that keep putting that doubt in your mind. Of course, we always have doubt. When we're creative, when we're bold, when we're ambitious, and we put ourselves out there and we power through to make things happen, to turn an idea into reality or a business into reality or a shift in career to reality, of course, it's stressful. And of course, we have our doubts. That is natural. That is normal. But we power through. Because when we really feel that this is where we belong, and this is where our purpose is, and sorry for the rant, you push through and get people out of your way that you're, you're determined. You're like, enough already. Just move forward. Fast forward. Don't let anybody get in your way, especially if they don't know what they're talking about. That's how it feels. You have so many major arcana here that is important, successful, determined, powerful, right? So don't doubt yourself. Just move forward. The chariot is all about that stamina and that confidence to make things happen because you're ready, because you have the knowledge and the willpower and the determination. There's no looking back. And there's really no one getting in your way. And if they are, it's not worth it. <clears throat> these, these constant arguments here, these daily arguments with this Knight of Wands, you know, that's flitty flighty. Really? There you go. Go for it. Go for it. It's a new journey. No, you're not going to get all the answers right away. No. Yes, it's a little blurry. It's the beginning. It's a new cycle. Of course, it's different. Of course, you don't know. But what you do know is that you're in the right place. What you do know is now you're going to gain all the knowledge to make it happen. And it's already happening. It's already happening. You already started this. This is your place. This is where you belong. I keep, keep, I keep feeling the sense where, oh, I shouldn't have done this, or am I gonna be good enough? Or, 
Uh, do uh, yeah, do I, 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 I? It's a lot of knowledge. It's a lot to do. Can I handle it? Right? And um, of course you can. Look, and another major arcana. But yes, the fool. It's a new adventure. A whole new adventure. And you know the chariot is all about that fierce power. That fierce dedication to bring it to fruition, that discipline, that commitment to make it happen. And you have your objectives and, and you're channeling your inner power. You are channeling your inner power. You will succeed. It's not a time to hang out or to dwell or to doubt. Yes, you can doubt, but you have to be moving forward at the same time right? You will succeed. Not the time to be passive. Not the time to be passive. Draw upon your willpower and home in what, what's essential for you and, and push through, push through these obstacles because it's, it's, it's at that moment that you are going to understand how important this is with the Hierophant, learning the fundamentals and the, the principles of these sources, whatever source it is, sources they are, whatever knowledge this is, you are learning the fundamentals of all of this. Whatever it is, you're following these ways, conventional ways, whatever that is. Maybe you're going back to school. Maybe you're a teacher. Maybe, you know, it feels very structured, but you have to follow these conventional ways to be able to start this thing. Let me know what it is. <laughs> oh, and you have the, the sun on the bottom. There you go. I don't usually look at the bottom, but you have the sun, right? And the fool is that new, all about new. You know, you know what this is all about, but you know you have to power through power through with your knowledge, with your, um, your power, I have power through with your power, with your, your mindset, right? And don't let anybody tell you any other way. I don't know how to say it more than that. Like be daring, be carefree and, 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 and just push forward and, and push forward with your free spirit and your spontaneity, right? If you, if you stagger, if you're scared, you know, you're just going to stagnate. You don't want to stagnate. So it is a new beginning, but it's a huge opportunity, huge potential. And you're really at the outside of this journey. So you're about to take your first step and in, into the unknown. And, and even though you don't really know exactly what it entitles or, you know, or exactly what it looks like, that's okay. Open mind, open mind, curious, go for it. Ready, be ready, be ready to embrace. It's, it's, it's really about a beautiful personal growth. And it's a beautiful new experience. So time is now. Time is now. Time to do it. And even if you're not quite ready, push forward. It's a great potential. Great opportunity. Am I pulling one more card here? No. Let's just put one. Let's see if we have one message for the road. Yeah, it feels very, you feel scared. I feel scared. Don't be scared. Yes, look at that. There you go. Nine of Pentacles. I love that. Comfortable. Comfortable with who you are. Money is going to come in. Uh, comfortable with your choices. Independent financially. Financially independent. Go for it. This is your personal growth. This is your personal path, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry for the light. <laughs> Apologies for that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and comment down below. Let me know what your energies are about. Let me know what your journey is all about. I didn't ask you to do that. 
that comment down below and let me know if you connect with this reading and where you stand on your journey and what this is all about and if this is a career change right um that is how i find my energies to move forward on these readings so don't forget to hit the bell to subscribe if you haven't yet especially if you enjoy these weekly readings and uh, and comment let me know and if you've just stumbled upon this channel and enjoyed this reading or connected with with it in somewhat shape or form uh please subscribe and hit the bell as well and let me know down below in the comment section thank you so much for watching have a great week aquarius take care bye bye